Okay, um, I'm going to do uh, a couple of little uh, quick tips for Blender here. And uh, the first first one I'm going to do is how to easily navigate around the scene. And um, for example, I'll switch to like a side view or something. And as you can see, I have my camera. I can manipulate my camera, camera manipulate my camera like um, any other object by moving and rotating it. Uh, but an easy way to do it is go to the camera view and um, right click on this frame here until this frame turns white. That's actually the camera's view. And if you hit Shift F, you'll see these, oops, I'm trying to point to them, but uh, you'll see down here uh, underneath the view that there's these um, uh, keyboard combinations. And so now what you can do is by uh, flicking the mouse wheel up and down, you can change the speed that you move. And also, just by moving the mouse around, you can uh, spin your view around. It's almost like a first person shooter. Also, using the WASD keys, um, you can move forward and side to side and back. All right, and again, the mouse wheel controls the speed that you do this at. All right, so you can move around your scene. Whoops, it's easy to. Um, only thing is, it's very touchy. It's very easy to. Uh, um, it's it's quite easy to uh, overcompensate and whatnot. But it's it's kind of a neat way to move around. And as you can see, I'm able to do kind of interesting camera moves here. I'll have to see if maybe we can. Uh, do a tutorial where you can actually, you know, record what you're doing in real time. But like I said, it's it's just like, um, it's just like doing a, a first person shooter type of thing. Let me move my camera back to where I wanted it before. I like to use that in combination with the G key. All right. Okay. So that's Shift F to um, go into like a first person movement mode of the camera. Let me render the scene here. The little monkey. Okay, you know what? That's not what I want. Uh, I want to show you this. Let me go down here. All right, so what I want to do is render this monkey onto a um, kind of a flat background, kind of like a product placement, for example. Uh, I want to see shadows but uh, the shadows that the monkey is, is casting, but I don't want to see the actual uh, backdrop itself. I want it to be sort of like floating in space. And an easy way to do that is, um, so for example, I have this plane here. I need the plane to, to accept the shadows from the monkey character, but I don't want to actually see this plane. So if you go and select the materials uh, for that plane object, and just come over here to shaders, and uh, turn on only shadow, now when I render, All right. Now you can see that we're still getting the shadows onto the plane, but you can't actually see the plane. And so it looks like it's, you know, for example, if you were rendering something for a product placement or something like that, this would, uh, I think, uh, do the job very nicely. So you have a seamless integration with the uh, background, uh, but you still get the shadows. Hope these uh, tips help you out.